Hello guys, in today's video, we're gonna check out the best motherboard for gaming in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these motherboard for gaming, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality motherboard for gaming according to your needs, then watch the video till the end and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have EVGA 690 Dark Kingpin. If you're looking for a cutting-edge, next-gen motherboard that will last for years to come, consider the EVGA 690 Dark Kingpin. It has a 21-phase VRM design, 10-layer PCB, 3M2 slots, and 8.6 GB PS SATA ports. Earlier Dark Kingpin releases have been the height of motherboard luxury. Every part is over-engineered to make sure the person using it doesn't experience any motherboard-related issues in the game. Also, EVGA software is widely believed to be among the best for tweaking and managing components like motherboards. Though this motherboard isn't available to buy right now, it will be out anytime. It's an excellent choice for any gamer who wants the absolute best there is. Moving on to the next and number two with Asus ROG Maximus AI Extreme. You don't need a top-of-the-line CPU to have excellent graphics in your games. Even the Z490, which is more affordable and accessible than the latest CPU releases, can still deliver amazing high-quality images and flawless gaming performance, especially if it's paired with a superior motherboard design for gaming. The Asus ROG Maximus Roman 12 Extreme is such a motherboard. One thing Asus highlights about this motherboard is its compatibility with high-quality water cooling setups. If heat management concerns you, the ROG Maximus Roman 12 Extreme can help mitigate that. Since GPU tend to produce a lot of heat in certain games, this might help your computer last longer by keeping all of the components cooler. Reviews praise the overclocking features on the board and how well they can manage the increased heat with the design. Even users who overclocked both their CPU and GPU found the temperatures stayed manageable on this board. The light and backplate and display are other excellent quality of life features for gamers who want to push their components to the extreme. One downside to consider is that the board isn't as suited for automatic overclocking as some other boards. A user mentioned voltages going too high when they overclock the board using its automated overclocking software. The number 3 position is held by Asus Tough Gaming Z590 Plus Wi-Fi. The Asus TUF Gaming Z590 Plus Wi-Fi is a solid board for someone who wants a product that lasts. Gaming is harder on the components in a computer than most other activities. It generates heat and pushes the most important pieces to their limits. Since this motherboard is made with such solid parts and designed to last, it's an excellent choice for those who want reliability. Another exciting feature about this motherboard is the audio setup. The Realtek S1200 exclusive DTS custom for gaming headsets is designed to make everything in games sound more authentic. The footsteps creeping up behind you in, in an FPS might be just a little more distinguishable and help you get the first shot off. It also has two-way AI noise cancellation to make your discussion pop. 2. Even with background noise and loud keyboards, with multiple M2 drives, 6 SATA 3.0 ports, and built-in Wi-Fi 6 capabilities, the TUF Gaming build is everything required to get you hooked up and into online or offline games. It offers a lot of connections for storage drives and the ability to get on the fastest and least crowded Wi-Fi bands. Next at number 4, we have MSI MPG 690 Carbon Wi-Fi. The MPG 690 Carbon Wi-Fi from MSI is the premier board from MSI for those using the 690 platform. It supports the latest CPU with the newest socket compatibility and DDR5 memory. In short, this means that it's a board for people who play the most demanding games like custom modded installations of open world games. It can take almost anything you throw at it as long as you pair it with complementary parts. The VRM setup on this board is excellent, with an 18 plus 1 plus 1 power design delivery that keeps consistent voltages moving to your GPU and CPU. It's one of those features that many motherboards don't support They have usable and reliable VRM designs with fewer stages. While they might work well, they won't be as reliable or offer the premium performance you'll get with a board like this. Reviewers praise the large number of ports and the easy setup of this board. 
It handles the latest CPU and delivers the kind of flawless performance you'd expect in the newest PC technology. However, they found that it didn't always work with Windows 10, and some needed to upgrade to Windows 11 to get their drivers to work correctly. The number 5 position is held by Asus ROG Strix B550F Gaming Wi-Fi. One of the B550 CPU series benefits is that you can get PCIe support at a lower price, though this board is a little pricier than others that support the B550. It offers superior performance for just a bit more money, and can help you get the most out of your CPU, which is especially important for gaming. The Asus ROG Strix B550F Gaming is designed with a 12 plus 2 phase BRM that should help regulate the power exchange between components. Reviewers found that it could run their GPU without getting too hot, but it was still hotter than similar boards with the same setup. You can mitigate the heat with extra fans or cooling solutions, but the board generally runs cooler because it has fewer PCIe lanes. The backplate has eight USB ports, including one that supports BIOS flashback functionality. It also has a port for the included magnetic Wi-Fi antenna. The number six position is dominated by Asus ROG Maximus ZI Hero. Premium features and settings make the Asus ROG Maximus Roman 13 Hero a clever choice for a no-compromises gaming build. It has PCIe 4.0, 4M, two slots, and many ports, including USB and two Thunderbolt options. While you can use it for overclocking, it's also a great all-around motherboard to use if you aren't planning to do so. It's also a fantastic motherboard for someone who wants to build and upgrade their rig. It has Memtist 86 installed on the BIOS, includes a flex key and start button on the motherboard, and has a Q code reader. If you are comfortable upgrading your machine, tweaking the settings, and pushing your components to work at their highest levels, consider the Maximus Roman 13 Hero. Reviewers praise the board's performance in their favorite games, explaining that it can handle graphically intensive games without a stutter. The cooling and build construction are more than adequate to keep things running even when choosing the most demanding titles. Moving on to the next at number 7 with MSI H510 E Pro Wi-Fi Pro Series motherboard. One of the best features of the MSI H510i is its core boost that helps support multi-core processors to get the best possible speed. Since CPU speed is critical in almost every demanding game, a motherboard that supports it is an excellent choice. It also has steel armor to protect VGA cards from bending. It also helps improve performance, stability, and strength. The integrated cooling features include a VRM extended heatsink, PCB cooling, and fan settings that adjust automatically. While a mini ITX board isn't a standard motherboard recommendation, they make pretty decent gaming PC. Most of the associated parts that will go into your computer will also be less expensive than they would be in larger builds. The number 8 position is held by MSI MAG B460 Mortar Wi-Fi. If you want to make a smaller build and save a bit of money on your processor, consider going with the MSI MAG Mortar. It's a micro ATX board with a lot to offer, not the least of which is four slots for the RAM. If you choose an IFIT processor, it can run up to 2,666 MHz, but with an Iceman or an E, You can use DDR4-2933 for a bit of an extra boost. Even though it's small and might not be as future-proof as some other options, the decent RAM options and the 2M2 drives make it more than capable of running even large and complex games smoothly. However, keep in mind that speed is good for the size of the board and its price. This might not be the right board for someone who wants to push their memory speed, even when considering only DDR4 options. One great thing about this board is that it has a great VRM setup for its price point with a 12 plus 1 plus 1 power phase design. It should deliver power smoothly to your graphics card and CPU, which will help them work better, no matter which ones you pair with the motherboard. Next at number 9, we have Asus ROG Strix B560 at Gaming Wi-Fi. The ROG Strix B560 is perfect for a budget build that still includes PCIe 4.0. It also has a respectable power stage setup with an 8 plus 2 design. You can use two M2 drives, take advantage of Wi-Fi 6, and use the two-way AI noise cancellation to hear your team better. Even in noisy environments, reviewers praise the build quality and the multiple connections, including 2.5G Ethernet. With this board, 
you get a lot of little quality of life upgrades that you don't usually find on inexpensive motherboards. It's a great budget option for gamers who want stable power, solid internet speed, and many ports to hook up peripheral devices. While some complain about Asus's customer support, most reviewers are pleased with their purchases. While you might not get overclocking and extreme power stage setup with this one, you will get everything you need to play the vast majority of current games and those that will come out in the next couple of years. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by MSI MAG B550 Tomahawk Gaming Motherboard. MSI includes a feature on the MAG B550 Tomahawk that helps keep up the data transfer rate that makes M2 drives worth it. It's called M2 Shield Frozer. It helps prevent data throttling with an extended heatsink that dissipates heat over the motherboard itself. If you want fewer loading screens and intend to put your games on the M2 drives, this feature makes this motherboard extremely desirable. It doesn't affect the transfer speed on other types of drives, but can significantly impact how your M2 performs. The Tomahawk also has PCIe slots that are secured with extra solder points. These help hold up cumbersome graphics cards. The weight of some GPU can damage some motherboards over time as their weight drags the motherboard out of position. Users also praise the VRM design and overclocking abilities. That's all for today. We upload all types of gaming products review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.